Hello, welcome back to Cam's Classics. Today we're shifting gears a little bit and working on the 66 Mustang. Cameron's up uh, for Memorial Day weekend, so he said let's work on the car, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're working on the floor, as you can see. Uh, pretty good rust hole here in the back. It's not too bad up here in the front, so we're gonna just put in this piece. Um, same on the other side, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plasma that out a little bit. So let me get suited up and ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make a we're just gonna make a rough cut just so we can see what we got to deal with here. So we're just gonna cut out a big piece and uh, we'll see what we got. Uh, we do have water on hand because there is still a little bit of the uh, underlay, carpet underlayment in there, but if we need it, we got the water there to go. So if we power it on. As you can see, I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble there cutting through there because a uh, previous owner or from the factory, they put some sort of a tar in there. And when it hits that, you just kind of have to go really slow as it melts the tar, then melts the metal.
Okay, so that's got us a, a rough cut. Um, so now we can see what we got as we work here. Uh, we'll probably end up cutting it with a cutting wood, cut off wheel, so we get a nice clean place to weld our new floor part in. Um, but that's what we got for now. We're gonna continue working on this. We'll get the this finished cutting out, and we'll show you what we're gonna do. Our, uh, we did buy the whole floor pan, um, but we're just gonna use what we need. Sometimes when you're buying this stuff, it's cheaper to buy like the whole floor pan instead of the three, four, five pieces that you need. So that's what we did. We'll just cut that up into what we need and put it in the car. See you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got this all cut out. Uh, as you can see, uh, just to explain, Mustangs are unibody cars, meaning they do not have a frame. So this is the end of the front frame. The back frame sits below the seat, but there is this piece that rides on it that we're gonna catch with the floor. And we have our piece here that's gonna go in. And we're, we've got it all fitted, ready to go. So we'll put it in and then we'll be ready to start welding. Fits really good. Um, we are going to use the overlap method uh, so we get some good welds that are going to hold. So uh, we'll get it welded in. We'll come back and show you what we're done. Um, then the only piece we'll have left is we, there's a, a riser. You can kind of see it on the other side for the seat. Uh, we'll show you how we're going to fit that in. and But we'll get this welded in and come back to you. Welcome back. It's been a good long day. Uh, we do have the passenger floor in, including the seat bracket right here. Uh, we do have the driver's side tacked in. We've got to finish welding it. Put the seat bracket in on that side. And the floors of the Mustang will be done. We do still have some more rust repair. Uh, there's a little bit in the firewall, fender well area that we'll have to get to on this side and I believe that side. Um, and then we have rust repair on that quarter. Um, but other than that, this car is pretty, pretty good as far as rust. We don't have a lot. Um, so we'll continue working on it. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe.